I do use, as you'll notice in the pictures, a projector. And that is really the first step after the, the comps and gesso in the board is I'll lay my board flat and project my comp down onto the board and I'm able to then size it up exactly the size I want. So I just kind of outline the shapes and general shapes of what they are. And then what I do is go back to the original photography and w like in this one, one head at a time projecting into place, in po into position. And then I use the projector to draw them in. And the reason what that does is it makes my job very fast. What would take days to draw in by eye and by hand, I can trace in, to use the ugly word, tracing. <laughs> trace it in exactly the right place, exactly the right tilt, and exactly the right proportion by, by tracing them in. So that was the first step, and I do that with the, the 6H pencil. The next step is then when everything's projected in at a certain stage, and that's what you're looking at mostly is what I've done with the, the projector, is then I redraw it. I see more. I, under, I can add my understanding of draftsmanship and, and uh, anatomy to clean it up, to alter it, to do whatever I need to do to make it more to my taste. Uh, I just read better. To tra I have to translate a three-dimensional person into a two-dimensional object. And photography doesn't always do that well. It, it, it reflects, yeah, exactly what you see, but artists hopefully are not just drawing what they see, but what they understand. What's important is not how you get there. It's where you get in the end, especially in art, because they don't see the, how you're accomplishing it. They only see the end product. So if you trace it and you get it right, well, it's fine. Get it to your taste, that's your business. It's no more honorable to trace it or to draw it by hand. I mean, I spent six years in school sitting in front of a drawing board and a live model, and that's where I learned about anatomy, how to draw and get your, your proportions and your gestures and all that stuff. And now as a professional, I have to get it done now, not later, now. So that just speeds up the time like crazy, and that's one of the professional things you learn to do. It's just basic stuff and there's so much understanding and there's so much mysticism and egos involved in that kind of stuff. Well, I do everything out of my head. Well, good for you. Does it get you what you want? Fine. I need to do portraits of accuracy and I need to do them fast and this is how I do it.